that I'll call that to be an improvement. So this is really good behavior at this light. Maintaining speed for traffic flow. That's new. Hello everyone, we are back to do the second part of, um, well, this is gonna be a separate video, but um, we are on our way back home. Um, and we're just waiting for these cars to pass. Normally there's not that many cars on this road. Um, but really, I don't expect to have any disengagements going back home on this route. Um, we've, we didn't have any disengagements coming. Um, I actually decided not to record the last bit. Basically, uh, it actually took a harder route and it still made zero disengagements, um, if you can trust my word. Uh, what the heck did it do there? Okay, that was uncalled for. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if my hand is blocking the screen or if you can see something on the screen. I don't know if it's thought it saw something, but hopefully we don't start seeing um, consistent phantom swerves. It's phantom breaking, but I don't want, want phantom swerves. Oh no. Uh, okay. It's creeping, but we can definitely go. Okay. A little bit, you know, chill. It's not timid, but it's just kind of chill and lax going through that turn. Um, and it's just not accelerating very quickly. I mean, this is fine for a robo-taxi. Robo like, this is probably preferred, even. Um, as long as there's not too much traffic. If there's a lot of traffic, you should get up to speed quickly. But, um, to drive that smoothly, like, would be really nice, actually, if you're in the back. Um, the smoother it can be, the better. Like, for me, no reason it should have slowed down for that, um, uh, that trailer and truck right there. It actually made it less smooth. Because I, if I was in the back, I would notice the car was like slowing down just slightly, and I'd be like, "Why are you slowing down?" And I would have to look up to see why it's slowing down. Um, and like it, it just it, it didn't at all need to start slowing down right there. Uh, but yeah. So um, what I'm saying is, if I can even show you now, um, the parking lot is here. It, it doesn't. Uh, want, oh yeah, here it is. So we went from here to here to here, out this way, took a left, and drove down here and took a right. So I had an unprotected left, but there was no traffic, to be fair. So it was really easy for the car to, to, um, uh, to make that turn. But it managed to make it, no problem. And made zero disengagements across the road to, to where I got my hair cut. But, um, yeah, so... I'm just gonna let it do its thing at the speed limit. Did I adjust the speed any? I don't think I have. Let's see if we can get, um, last time, yeah, last time I did this, I didn't record the video, um, but I had my first zero intervention drive. I did put that on Twitter. Actually, no, wait, no, 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 I did record the video. Yeah, that was my first zero intervention drive, I think. Um, so I'm gonna see if we can get zero interventions on the way home on this route again. Great behavior. That's so it's thinking further ahead now. That's great because it. I'm gonna try and tell you in the past where, where, I, you know, this is where I remember it getting over. It would be about right here is where we try and get over. I think if I remember correctly, where it got over is exactly where I wanted it to get over. I was thinking like a couple seconds ahead of that time. I was like, you should be getting over now because it needs to change lanes, um, and it did. Um, it, like, it was perfectly acceptable where it got over and did a great job and where it got into this lane now. Great job, because there have been multiple times where it almost tried to go through this light because it wouldn't get in the turn lane in previous versions. And now this is the first version, I think, to actually get all the way over in the left lane. I guess it wants to try and pass the cars on the right. I'm gonna, again, I will try to... We're going to try for zero interventions. So I'm going to push the limits. It's only going to be one spot up ahead, basically, where it can mess up. And then basically, we're home free. It's 
So this is really good behavior at this light. Like, it's hard to describe, but it, it's very human-like. It's the only way I can describe it. In terms of, like, the car is, um, it started, you know, it didn't keep on braking when the light turned green. It started reaccelerating even though the car in front of me was stopped. That's what a human would do is I would start creeping forward even though the, the car in front would stop. As you can see, these two cars passed me because my car is going too slow. It should, it should go ahead and get in the right lane. Um, but I think the reason it hasn't is I'll explain up here past this light. The next light, um, it needs to change lanes um, and so I think it pro the map data probably confuses the car and it thinks it needs to be in this lane until past the light then it needs to get over and it's a good thing it turned green because if it didn't we, it probably would have messed up we need to get we do need to get in the right lane and go straight through the light and then it takes a right turn into the merge ramp Let's see what it does. So that ding in indicates a turn's coming up. So it needs to get over. Are they gonna make it? Double aggressive lane change. Again, while it made it, and it did it, it should have been in the right lane already. There's like a metal chunk over there. I don't even know what that is. Um, yeah, so while it made it, uh, I think it only did that because there was no traffic, essentially. That, that's the only reason it made that. There, as long as we keep on accelerating, these cars are going to slow us down. Ah, oh, there's a car. Hey, yeah, changing the ways. Yeah, that's good. That, uh, what, a, what a bit too much of a swerve. Get it on the highway here. It might have done that because it probably wanted the double lane change. And then uh, it saw that approaching car and, and canceled itself. It might be why it kind of swerved like that. Again, I'm not going to adjust the speed. And we're going to try and stay here. Uh, it's going to... I'm surprised actually no one's riding on, riding on my bumper yet. Normally, people show up pretty quickly here. Okay, yeah, so this car behind me came up very quickly. Uh, and now it's passing me very quickly. Hey, in a hurry and places to be, I guess. Just hope there's not a police car at the bottom of that hill like there often is. But, um, so yeah, the car should drop down to 55 right here. And it kept it at 64. Maintaining speed for tra maintaining speed for traffic flow. That's new. Wow, okay. I've never seen that before. That has to do so it must adjust your speed to stay with the flow of traffic even though you're going above the speed limit. Maybe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think in the comments. I've never seen that before. So now we're changing lanes in the faster lane. Which... Why did it... Now it went down to 60? That's weird. And now it needs to get back over. But it's probably not going to. This is some new behavior with um, speed limit changes. That's, um, I, I have personally never seen this before. This is, I, I've done this route. This is the only way, well, the only way on the highway to get back in, in the town for me. And so I take this route every single time I go to town, not like nine out of 10 times. And I've never once seen this type of behavior. how it does at this final ramp here. So that seems smoother getting off the highway, I think. I'm, I mean, maybe I'm holding the wheel, car. I'm holding the wheel, my hand's on the wheel. 
Um, let's see how it goes down here. This does seem a little bit smoother. I'm gonna definitely call it. Um, you know, it, it did smooth everything out. So that, that's what I wanna say. Uh, hopefully on this coming Saturday when we do Carl Sandberg, we'll see how smooth it is um, getting off that exit. What I'm looking for here is it needs to have more like assertiveness. It needs to actually stop. Hey, wow. It finally boosted. There's no cars around me besides this truck in front of me. That, um, I'll call that, I'll take it. That, that, I'll call that to be an improvement. I'll, I'll, I'll call it. Um, yeah. Zero interventions, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> With some improvements. Um, so yeah. Still a step in the right direction for this drill. Um, I'll call it. Uh, I hope everyone is having a fantastic night or morning or whenever you're watching this. Uh, I will see you in the next video and I appreciate everyone watching. Bye one.